I'm Vinnie Jones from the Midnight Meat Train. You're watching DreadCentral.com. Brilliant of them to not take that Western view of death and not being the final chapter. Oh I consider God. it okay. just a moment uh, in the in the journey. And because you know how I died, it doesn't necessarily mean that you know more about me or my story. <clears throat> Is there a supernatural side to the character? Oh, right. Right. Well, yeah, uh, you know, I think he uh, is. Uh, has a spiritual side. Is, is, are you ever going to see a supernatural jigsaw? I don't think so. I think that uh, you're learning, like uh, with, a, with any kind of puzzle, you learn a little bit about him, but not necessarily in a linear sequence. Or in a, uh, you know, in, in a straight line. You, you learn a little piece here, and a little piece there, and a little piece there, and a little piece here. So I think that the fans seem to like that, to not get it all dumped in their lap all at the same time. The, the parts that you do see of him, for some reason, seem to resonate more rather than being too much of him all at one time. But we're learning more about him all the time, and I think that's one of the things that happens with Saw 4. Is that, you, that there's another piece of that story put in, and the ending of Saw 4 is a staggering surprise. So. Uh, how many saws do you think we can do? I mean, can it go as long as, as there's interest, or? Oh, unquestionably. You know, it can go as long as there's a story to be told. That's, uh, you know, I'm always interested in continuing a delicate and intelligent line in the story. And so as long as we can continue to reach for excellence on that level. Mm -hmm. Obviously the special effects and all that kind of thing are very important. But uh, as an actor, I'm more interested in the character and relationship than I am in uh, special effects. So uh, I hope we can continue to do that. It makes a big difference. That sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the, the traps themselves, I mean, that's the thing that the movies are famous for, and there has to be this urge, of course, up the bar from film to film. Do, do, they, do you have any input on these traps yourself? Well, if I have something to say about them, I can yeah. Are there Fine. any examples? Um, well, um, yeah. Uh, in Saw 4, uh, there's a trap that I'm involved with that wasn't working properly mechanically. I had an idea on how we should change it, and so we changed it, and uh, it worked much better, and it worked better dramatically. And uh, so, uh, you know, I've had a really great collaborative relationship with Darren Bosman, so uh, uh, anytime uh, you can work with the director and have that kind of relationship, it's a great thing. Absolutely, absolutely.